Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Boss Mac of BackToGaming.com Back with another C390 motherboard unboxing this time around We have the Asus ROG Maximus 11 Hero Wi-Fi And this is pretty much I think the entry level addition to their ROG series of motherboards There's also the ROG Strix line of motherboards uh, But this one is the flagship gaming line It does uh, feature the best of what Asus has to offer in terms of features for their products and for motherboards uh, the the most basic ROG motherboard that you can get is the hero lineup and this is the motherboard for the C390 uh, C390 entry for the ROG uh, Maximus 11 series so here is a shot of the packaging so nice darker design from the I think the the same well, the same design was used but this one really I think this one is darker uh, the shade of the front of the box I don't know I'm just uh, I don't have what the maximum stance right here anyways nice holographic name print right there ROG logo over here marketing bullets over here features this one does have S A SLI NVIDIA SLI support and AMD crossfire as well as or sync it does support 8th gen as well as the upcoming uh, processors from Intel so we have prints at the back for the specific features as well as specs of this motherboard we also have highlights of what's included and this one we have a nice design print over here name of the name of the product ROG right there and things I can't read because it's in multiple languages so we open this up so the flap slides up I I gotta do it this way because this is really nice right there it does greet you this was introduced I think in the Rampage 5 um, 10th anniversary or the anniversary release of the Rampage 5 so that's a nice touch and most of the other brands are actually following uh, that design trend anyways we have the motherboard right here so we'll put that aside and take a look at the in the accessories and what comes in the box so we have a large sticker sheet over here ROG logo so we have battery covers these are actually used to cover up your uh, CMOS battery in your motherboard so and the other ones oh this one I think these ones are for the CMOS battery not these ones so circular logos label stickers over here for your cables angular stickers for styling up your case or whatever you want to place them wherever you want to place them so let's put that to the side we have a coaster right there we have the ROG logo badge sticker right there along with the installation disc then we have a greeting card over here and if you saw that code for cable mod feel free to use it and yeah this is a discount voucher for cable mods from asus rog so we have the manual over here and over at this side so let's check out if they did no they didn't usually they would some of the motherboard uh would include something in these in these areas but this one doesn't so let's go ahead and check out what's over here we have a bunch of cables we have two pairs of SATA one is uh, 90 degree angled and one is straight the same goes for the other pair and we have RGB connectors two of them right here one is an extension header one is the uh, the addressable header and the other one we have the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna right there with which, which includes the stand and the SLI HB bridge over here the quick connector and a pair of M.2 screws for securing your uh, M.2 devices and my marker has been erased from my table so there there is the motherboard so as we mentioned this we're just gonna dash through uh, this motherboard the layout and what I feel about the quality my first impressions so just like our other unboxing so this one is one chunky motherboard i mean really beefy it's not as heavy as the c390 from gigabyte the master but it does 
It does have significant weight to it. And most of that weight is from the really thick coolers, which which are really nicely made. So really good angular uh, cuts over here. Nice design. It follows from the older uh, Zenith design from the X399 motherboards from ROG. And nice IO shroud over here. Denser plastic than what we've seen from the Prime. And this doesn't have the OLED display, but being a hero product, I guess that's expected. So we have the uh, dim slots over here, the memory slots. So we have the debug LED a start button. And I think this is the reset button over here. We have RGB headers over here at the upper side of the memory slot, the power connector over there, as well as the USB 3.1 front panel connector. SATA ports over here, total of six. So, but uh, pretty much uh, what we've seen standard from the rest of the motherboards that we've taken a look at, as well as fan headers. Actually, there's a three of them over here. One is for a, actually one, uh, there's only two, and the other one is a flow monitor for water pumps. And there's another fan header over here and a bunch of other connectors over at this side. So we have a total of six expansion slots for this motherboard, three X1s and three x 16 So that's pretty much uh, standard. Again, from what we've seen, we have a covered up IO, I mean an audio area. Nice, um, I think these are Nichicon or can't say a Nichicon capacitor for the audio over at this area. And going over at the back, we have a pre-installed IO shroud, an IO shield, which is really nice, nice touch. And not sure if this one lights up, pretty sure it doesn't, but anyway, so we have the BIOS flashback. I think this is BIOS flashback feature and the clear CMOS button over here and USB 2.0 ports, legacy PS2 port, vid, uh, video displays, one is HDMI, one is display port. We have a USB 3.1 type C and type A port over here as well as a LAN port over here. Bunch of USB 3.1 and USB 3.0 connectors. Connectors for your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antenna and the audio ports are over here. So uh, pretty much uh, what you'd expect from a ROG product. There's a nice real little sticker at the slot cover. I mean the socket cover. Nice touch. I think they've already included that in the previous ROG releases but just mentioning they don't have like the OEM sticker over there. And yeah. And also forgot to mention we have two M.2 slots over here. Both are indeed covered and again they have two screws uh, securing the uh, heat swing, I mean the heat spreader. I actually don't like that approach. I prefer the ones that slot in with one single screw to secure them in place. Much more convenient. But yeah. And the PCH heat sink. This is a nice touch. It does, um, it does match the design on the lower M.2 heat spreader. Really nice design touch. And here we have the RGB lighting for, for the uh, Asus ROG Maximus 11 Hero Wi-Fi. Really nice approach they did with the RGB on this motherboard. So they basically have only two areas light up, that light up. One is the IO shroud and the other is the PCH heatsink. But the RGB execution is really nice. They use the latest kind of lighting, the one which has a more prismatic effect and the and the cutouts on the motherboards, the PCH heatsink really adds a great effect on the lighting. So yeah, so we don't have lighting on the dim slots and the uh, expansion slots. And I think that's all right because these get covered up by video cards and RGB memories anyway. So uh, yeah, it doesn't matter if they don't light up, that's fine with me. This does not have halo lighting over at the edge but as an entry-level motherboard, they have to um, cut costs. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the lighting for this one, lights. So there we have it. That has been the Asus ROG Maximus 11 uh, Wi-Fi motherboard uh, for the upcoming 
uh, Intel 9th gen processor. This does feature Intel C390 chipset, and it is one of the latest additions in the ROG Maximus 11 uh, motherboard series. We do have a lot of those, so if you want to see the full review, it's coming up really soon in backtogaming.com. So if you have questions about this motherboard, or the chipset in general, do hit us up in the comments and we'll try our best to answer your question. So this again, has been your boy Boss Mac of backtogaming.com. If you wanna see more videos like this one, don't forget to like the video, comment the video, and subscribe. Peace.